to be that time of year where you want to be outside more and that also means stopping by some local food trucks. But are those food truck operators doing all they can to keep you safe? That's where health officials are stepping in. This afternoon we have Jennifer from the health department and Anthony from Toledo Fire to learn more why events like this are so important. Go ahead, Jennifer. <laughs> so we have three days that we set up for this year for the 2024 Mobile Food Roundup. So we had 32 trucks come yesterday and we have appointments for Wednesday next week on March 20th and we also have appointments available tomorrow on March 15th. Um, we want all of our vendors to come out. If you're a mobile food truck, they can come out and be inspected. They will have their food inspection, but also we have 12 fire departments that are participating this year and they're able to get inspected by the fire departments all at one time. I got to tell you, uh, the fire or the, the uh, food trucks are relatively new around here, mm -hmm. but like we have some wonderful, wonderful food trucks. I mean, we, we make the rounds, some of the, the microbreweries and things like that or festivals and these food trucks pull up there and there's such a wide selection and it's just so much fun to, to take part in different tastes of foods and we have our favorites. My wife and I have our favorites. We try to follow them around oh, a little yeah. bit. So uh, tell me, uh, I, they're just like any other restaurant. They got to be inspected, yeah. not just for safety with the food, but also fire hazard because they have, uh, they have propane or whatever they yes. use to cook. Mm -hmm. So yes, they, by the Ohio Fire Code, they have to be inspected and permitted in the state of Ohio. So um, when we start the inspection, it's just like a brick and mortar inspection. Um, everything far as the appliances, applies, you know, and all that. But also. There's more to it. Section 320 of the fire code goes over that. Um, and there's the Ohio fire code um, check sheet. It's about two pages long. It goes through everything. Now, part of it is for when, before they operate, and then part of it's for when they operate. Um, we, we look for the fire extinguishers, make sure they're within a year um, been checked. We look for the hood system. Everyone that emits a odor or smoke, they have to have a hood system. Um, we look for the CO detectors, the smoke detectors, and then we also look for the cleanliness and then the electrical is a big part. You know, um, these guys, um, a lot of the food trucks we are learning that they're building them themselves and they're not um, going by the electrical code. Um, there's the Ohio Fire Code, there's NFPA 70 out there that regulates all this, they, so they have to follow all that. So it takes about a half hour to 45 minutes to do an actual fire inspection to go through. Jennifer, uh, of all the food trucks, uh, what, so how many of them are an established restaurant that are familiar with what they have to do to, to make you happy in food preparation? Or are 90% of them all just like, hey, let's put some tacos in a, in a, in a crock pot and go out and try to sell it? So we do have several that are part of a restaurant. So they are associated with a restaurant and then they will take their restaurant um, They'll cook at the restaurant and they'll put it into the mobile and then go ahead and go out. But we have 260 mobiles licensed in Lucas County. Um, so, it, But at this event, we have mobiles coming from Wood County, Lucas County, um, Hancock, Fulton. Um, so they're coming from everywhere. But unfortunately, we do have people that are just mobiles. So we do have to make sure that the menu matches the equipment because they do not have another kitchen to cook in. They cook in directly in that mobile. So Anthony talked about what goes into the TFD inspection. Mm -hmm. What goes into the inspection for the health department? So we're looking at the menu. We'll look at the truck. We want to look at the layout. We need to make sure the plumbing is okay. We want to make sure the hot holding and cold holding um, fits the menu. We also look at uh, hot water, cold water, and then it's called a blue boy or the dirty water container, which is usually underneath the truck or it is external, and they have to put it underneath the truck and carry it um, in the back of a pickup truck. So we look at both plumbing, electrical, and all the coolers. So 260 right now are licensed. Uh, what has that changed the past few years? Has it exploded for it you too? And that's got to be a, a strain on your departments in yes. trying to keep up with the, the legality of it. Yes, it has definitely increased after COVID. Everyone went to food trucks sure. versus brick and mortar. Um, but a food truck is just as hard to run as a restaurant, if not more, um, just because you have very limited space to cook in. Um, and you still have to fire, fire, follow all the fire codes within that mobile. Okay, now yesterday there was an inspection. There was another one. Uh, let's show you the graphic here with what's coming up here. Let everybody know if they, if they have a food truck. This is the times. March 15th, mm -hmm. that's tomorrow. Correct. And then March 20th from 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock. 
in Toledo and then registration. And now because every jurisdiction has a, a requirement, so whether it's Holland, Sylvania, Maumee, Toledo, they're all representative there too? Yes, um, 12 departments and we did have one or two come in at the last minute. Um, departments to come, they're all represented there. And um, I cannot um, put my gratitude out there enough. We all have meetings, we're working together and all that. So if, you know, Perrysburg inspects your truck um, and they, we on site with them, we can, you can get license for us and Perrysburg together mm -hmm. instead of, you know, going to Perrysburg and then coming to me. Um, I know um, I had a food truck about a month ago call and he was at eight different jurisdictions in one day, you know, trying to get them all done, an hour apiece. And this right here, you do it all in one stop mm -hmm. shop. Now, because this is, uh, takes, takes time, you have to pre-register for this? Yes, we have the links available. Um, we still have appointments available for Friday and next Wednesday. You can go to lucascountyhealth.com and click right on our link. It's on our main page. It's also on Toledo Mobile Food Site page. It's on our Facebook page. Find our link, go ahead and register. As long as you have all your paperwork um, completed, we will, we will take you. All right, that's great. Mm -hmm. Anthony, Jennifer, thank you so much for coming mm -hmm. in today. Weather is coming up next. Get a